Salutations and greetings! My name is Sparrow Swift, and this is my channel, From the Desk. In this first video, Lioness and Huntress are going to ask me questions, and I'm going to give you my answers. This will give you a little bit of insight into who I am, and just basically everything about me. So the questions start soon. Have fun! Why do you call yourself Sparrow Swift? Sparrow Swift actually came from uh, two books of mine. The f one is not published, the other one is. Sparrow came from a character in the book that isn't published. She's a kind of vig vigilante person, and I poured more of my personality into her than to any of my other characters. Swift came from the book that is published, which is called Mark of the Cabots. The main character in that is called Elliot Swift. So I just took his last name. So Sparrow and Swift comes together as Sparrow Swift. And plus, I like being called fast, so. <laughs> and you like birds. Well, I like other animals too. <laughs> <laughs> Is the name special to you? Yeah, like I said, it's it's a character I poured more myself into, so she's a little bit more special to me than other characters I've written. Even though they're all special, I like Sparrow a whole lot. Hey, <clears throat> Why do you call your channel From the Desk? Um, From the Desk is from my desk. desk in Texas and it's just where if anything magical happened happened in my life it was at that desk so so the desk is special to you very special I would not trade that desk for anything who are the beautiful dreamers beautiful dreamers are the people who click on my channel or my fans the people who support me the people who hate me and love me they are the beautiful dreamers even though some of them may hate me, it's okay. I can still call them beautiful dreamers because they take their time to watch and to criticize me. So. <laughs> um, so where are you from? I am from Texas. Um, I moved to Waco, Texas when I was nine and even though I've lived in other states, I've never felt more at home anywhere except in Texas. Very good. Do you like anchovies? Who does? <laughs> Honestly, that's like having fish hair. In your food, and I hate human hair. So how do you think I feel about fish hair in my food? Because they're hairy little fish. You don't want them. I like hairy fish in your food. <laughs> mm. No, we don't like those. Mm. Mm. All right, one more question. Do you like apples or oranges more? Mm. Oranges, as long as they're seedless. Apples, not so much. Apples are never seedless, yeah. but oranges are. What are some of the struggles you faced in your life? Um, so the struggles I faced were like my tongue dystrophy and dyslexia were two of the big ones, but I didn't know about them until I was in my adulthood. Um, my tongue dystrophy uh, was probably the biggest struggle I have. It's a disability that put my dad on this disabled list and it's genetic so he passed it down to me and only me. None of my siblings have it. I was the only one who has it. Does it scare you? No, not really. My time just to feed means that the electrodes from my brain to the rest of my body move slower and I don't have it as bad as some of my family members. Like one of my family members has to be freed through an AV tube. But if I get hurt or if I get sick, it takes me longer to get better because of the mitotic dystrophy. You want people to know you're a Christian. That's how, correct. How has your faith helped you through your disability? I'm just believing that God gave me authority over illness. So even if he doesn't heal me, which he has the ability to do, I'm not saying he doesn't have the ability, but even if he doesn't heal me, I determine my kids were not going to have to struggle with this. So you, if he ever heals me, then that's fine too. <laughs> so you dressed in PJs without makeup for this video. Um, okay, most people, they go from makeup and dress up nice to bare face. I wanted to, I'm doing it backwards. I'm dressed in clothes that are comfortable. I have makeup, I don't have makeup on. My hair is crazy looking <laughs> right now. Uh, but one day maybe I'll dress up nice and put on makeup. That's something to look forward to. But right now, everyone's going from really super dressed up to nothing. I'm going from nothing to super dressed up. So stay tuned. <laughs> Do you like makeup? 
I do, but I wear it for myself. I don't wear it for anyone else. Hey, are PJs your favorite clothes? Yes, they are. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> who is a YouTuber who has inspired you most? Um, I would have to say Han Sol One Shot. He's a blind YouTuber, and he really inspired me a lot to anything spectacular or overly special about me like being blind I still think I have something to give to everyone who watches this channel do you hope to inspire somebody else to make a YouTube if they wanted absolutely I mean there's this is a medium and you can actually reach other people that may not be reached by me or Han Sol or any other youtuber what is your overall goal for your channel my overall go goal is to encourage people to chase after their dreams and to find their niche, what they're good at, what they are meant. Because everybody has a place in this world and sometimes we have a hard time finding it, but as long as we try to find where we fit, because we'll fit there. So, what kind of music do you listen to? <laughs> I listen to all kinds. Um, my favorite band is Van Hensel Dan, which is BTS, which stands for Bulletproof Boy Scouts. I also listen to Manic Drive, Disciple, uh, mm, Casting Crowns, you know, just different things. But if I am, if I have my choice, I listen to BTS. Okay. So, what is your favorite genre of books? Uh, I would have to say. It would be medieval adventure kind of things. I don't really get into mystery so much. There's only one book book genre that I say I absolutely hate. Do not hand it to me. Do not ever give me a romance book. I will burn it and dance on its ashes. <laughs> <laughs> Do not hand me a romance book. Are anything you... else? <laughs> the game. Do you, are you someone who likes romance at all? Hmm. I like romance in the way that it has enough action. It doesn't focus so much on the romantic part of a relationship, but where it has enough action to keep it moving forward. But if it's just romance, like, I love you, I can't love you, oh, I love you, I hate you. If it's that, don't, just don't, just don't, just don't. Is that your natural hair color? <laughs> Does it look fake to you? <laughs> Okay, yes. it's my natural hair color. I'm probably not ever gonna dye it either. Oh, it's so pretty. But uh, if you were ever to dye it, what color would you want it to be? I would never dye it. And besides, if I wanted to dye it a different color, do you ma can you imagine yeah. how many times I have to bleach this to get it white so I yeah. can dye it a different color? That would destroy. I would be bald. Yeah. <laughs> That's bald. no fun. It is not fun. Uh, can you ride a bike? Yes, I can, but I cannot rollerblade. Okay. Who are three of your top favorite authors? Uh, do you want classical or do you want right now? Let's go classic. <laughs> okay, uh, C.S. Lewis, Charles Dickinson, and Tolkien. J.J.R. Tolkien. Okay, who are your top three modern authors? Uh, for right now, this may change, it's Maria Lou. Marissa Meyer and Rick Riordan. Anyone who knows you knows you like Korean culture. Why? It's not just Korean culture I like. I like all different kinds of culture, but I was really interested in the way Asian culture is. Not just Korea, but China, Japan, all that. Just because I've met people from those countries and their experience is so much different from what I grew up in. I didn't grow up knowing a lot of cultures. I knew the American culture pretty well because I grew up in it. But I wanted to see other cultures and things from the other side of the world, basically. <laughs> Very good. Do you like Korean food? Have not had authentic Korean food yet. I would like to try tteokbokki, and I made Korean barbecue before, but I've never had authentic Korean food. I see. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to drink? Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper? <laughs> Do you like any other sodas? I like cherry coke or cherry pepsi. That's pretty good. But if I, my go-to drink is Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Very good. Alrighty. If you could go back in time, would you like to meet dinosaurs or Jesus more? Hmm. 
Who says that dinosaurs weren't alive when Jesus was alive? This is true! And if, <laughs> I, went, and if I went back that far to dinosaurs, then I could probably just live until Jesus came. <laughs> <laughs> this is true! Heck, you might have even seen Jesus riding a dinosaur! Right! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What is your favorite color? I have two, actually. I have silver and indigo. And indigo isn't TARDIS blue, it's not black, it's like in between those two. Maybe we should. What is it that makes you happiest in your day-to-day -day life? In my day-to-day -day life? Just waking up in the morning and knowing I'm motivated to do something, being ready to go, and not feeling lethargic, and having something to do during the day. Do you struggle with depression? I do, and I know a lot of people do, which makes me kind of confused of why they want to, would want to hide that. I mean, it's something everybody goes through. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have the ways I work through depression, and I think people should be more open to talk about it and not be afraid. I mean, if someone calls you a psych patient, then that's one, you know, it what well, doesn't matter what they think. Doesn't matter if you might be a psych patient. I mean, come on. Everybody <laughs> struggles with it. The people who don't are posing. What is your favorite social media? Um, I have to say Facebook. If people on YouTube want to talk to you, would you be opposed to that? No, I'll post my Instagram. I'll post my email so you can contact me. And you can always contact me in the comments below. Alright. What is your favorite movie? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> what yeah. is your favorite Comedy movie. Comedy? I would have to say my favorite comedy is uh, Cheese in a Trap, which is a K-drama TV show. Now, if I had to choose a favorite movie that I'd watch over and over again, it would have to be Princess Bride. <laughs> Very good. Who's your favorite character in Princess Bride? Wesley. Tell well, us what you like about Wesley. <laughs> no comments. <laughs> you ever read the book? Oh, don't mention that horrible travesty to me. That's the only time that the- Controversial! That's the only time the movie suppressed the book, because in the book, Wesley died! Indigo died! Spoilers! Spoilers! Spoilers. went insane! <laughs> and Buttercup spent her life running from Pumpergeek. So Great. That's what? fantastic. Okay. What is one of the weirdest things that has ever happened to you? Weirdest things? Hmm. When I was a favor runner, which I still am, I delivered a favor to a guy's house and the guy came to the door in his underwear. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> that was probably the weirdest thing that ever happened. And I thought, I am not going to argue with this guy because he's crazy. If you could marry a fictional character, who would it be? Oh, I know exactly who this would be. It would be my... Book character trend in from Mark of the Cabots, which is published. If you want to know who trend in is, get the book. Girls, don't fall in love with him. He's mine. He's <laughs> mine. 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 Write it on his forehead. Mine. <laughs> so Hawaii, which I won't. Which this is the only thing I'll say. It included a game of goldfish and a can of beans. That's all you need to know. <laughs> you are a published author. Mm -hmm. What is that process like? The writing part where I'm writing the story is really fun, but the editing part, not so much because it takes a lot of work. Like maybe there's a part in the book that doesn't make the story for it, but it's one of my favorite parts. I feel very, very crushed when I realize I have to cut it because it has no purpose whatsoever. <laughs> okay. So would you say that is your least favorite part to writing? Yeah, I would because it brings me to tears. And I, even though the editing has got easier since I'm a better writer than I was when I first started, it's still just a little bit taxing. Hmm. Okay. What is a story you have created but decided to never publish? Hmm. I have about three of those. <laughs> but two of them are one of them is salvageable so i won't tell you about that one but the one that is absolutely not salvageable is one i wrote when i first was writing and i wrote it i finished it i was going to edit it but then i got better and i realized how horrible the story was <laughs> you did a book signing what was that like hmm it was interesting i had fun doing it um it was at barnes and nobles and even though 
a lot of people couldn't make it a lot of people did come and a bunch of people came up and I would ask them who they were giving it to and they tell me and if that person was a writer I'd write a special note to that person inside for the writer and I'd give it to them and it was it was it was a fun experience it was really fun do you hope to have more moments like that in your future yes lots more <laughs> How many books do you have published? One. <laughs> One? One, because I haven't had time to, to work on my publishing stuff yet, so <laughs> it's a little bit difficult. I see. What inspired you to start writing? Um, it seems that my grandma rem remembers when I was really little, and she said it always seemed like I was writing or something. And one day I was going through a file with some of my papers in it, I pulled out a story that I had written and at that time I didn't know how to spell words so I had written pictures to describe what was happening. In the book I was a victim, my mom was a hero and one of my family members was the evil person. So, <laughs> How do you get out or deal with writer's block? One, one thing I heard once and this is what I do, you fill along the wall until you find a door. And usually that comes in the form of me just writing, 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 writing through it, and then I find the door and I let myself out. Very good. How do you feel about the slight decline in penguin psychology? Okay. <laughs> this is what I think penguins should do. <laughs> Stop it. Get out of those nice what white tuxedos you're in, put on some pajamas, and chill out. <laughs> That's what I think about your psychology. You just need to stop and chill and stop wearing uncomfortable clothes because, man, there's so much more to life than just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Go. Right. Favorite kinds of animals? In domestic or wild? Uh, both. <laughs> Okay, domestic is cat and dog. Wild, I would have to say pandas and tigers. Ooh. To the end of this video, what is one thing that we haven't covered that you would like people to know? Um, just if you have dreams, if you have hopes, if you have any um, thing that you want to do, then why don't you do it? And that's just basically it. I mean... Just get out there and just do whatever you want to because that's what you need to do. I mean, you have to be the change that you want to see. That's the truth. If you have change that you want to make, then why not, why not start yourself? Have you ever actually met a monkey's uncle? Once. <laughs> just once. <laughs> just one. Favorite flower? Blue bonnet. It's a state of Texas flower, so it's blue bonnet. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, jousting or sword fighting? Both. Knock him off the horse with the jousting stick and stab him with the sword when he's down there. That's true. How do you feel about fruit bats? They're in that category of don't know, don't care. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that was, that was the best place to be. <laughs> okay. Gummy bears or gummy worms? Neither, because both are made with boiled chicken bones. Oh, God. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how tired are you right now? <laughs> I think I think I have a few more hours left. I mean, the sun is about to come up, so we're fine. <laughs> well, this has been Sparrow Swift. I hope you had a nice time. If you want to see more, then comment below. If you have any questions that you want me to answer, comment those below or email me or visit my Instagram. And this is Sparrow Swift. Beautiful dreams.